Hey guys, this is going to be the starting phase of the Solve of Magic Cube 5th Dimension now. Um, you guys won't be able to see a ton of what's going on unless I take some of the functionality of the pieces away. Or not necessarily the functionality, but the highlighting of them. So we'll just show you what I'm going to be working on. Um, the one color pieces will always be solved. But uh, we're going to take down the three colored, the four colored, and the five colored pieces. So that way we can kind of zoom zone in on uh, the two coloreds because they're the first phase of this puzzle. So as you can see, they're all messed up everywhere. Scrambled completely. But uh, it's going to be fixed in this phase so probably take a little bit over a hundred moves or so I'm not sure exactly how many but I already did it so you guys can just watch the magic in the making I guess <clears throat> I do not know why the rotation rate is really slow right now, but I will fix that. Go over here to rotation rate. And also, let's take a look at the progress window so you guys can see that as well. Um, that shows the percentage of how many of each piece type is done. So you should be seeing the percentages change a lot on the two coloreds um, until it's up to 40 out of 40 pieces done. And you'll kind of see things come together little at a time. <laughs> but this part of the solve does not take long. And it looks a lot more complicated than it is. I mean, it did take... The first time I solved the puzzle years ago, I think it was like seven years ago now. Eight years ago. The first time I solved it, it took me about two weeks to learn how the faces actually behave. Um, it was very confusing to go from even 4D to 5D. But uh, now it's to the point where I pretty much understand what I'm doing. I mean, we're getting close to all 40 of those being done. Yep, see right there. So this state right here is all two colors solved. And you can even see just by looking at them, they look like they're pretty uniform in color. So... But we will kind of shift the faces around a little bit so you can see all over the place what's, you know, where they are and how they look from the inside of the puzzle to the outside. And uh, one more axis of rotation here careful not to make any twists and screw up my progress but uh, so yes you can see that everything is pretty much solved here so hope you enjoyed this part of the walkthrough um, and I'll catch y'all later